Half Shell Oyster House November features are here. Get in the holiday spirit with their Creole Cornbread Oysters or Creole Harvest Cobia. It's Half Shell's take on Thanksgiving. Creole Cornbread Oysters come topped and baked with a homemade cornbread dressing of oysters, shrimp, and crawfish, garnished with tasso ham hollandaise. The Creole Harvest Cobia comes bronzed with homemade cornbread dressing with oysters, shrimp, and crawfish. Topped with a tasso ham hollandaise, served with your choice of side salad or side item. If you're looking for dessert, you'll find it in the peanut butter cup martini or nutta butter old fashioned at Half Shell Oyster House, located at 115 Laurel Park Cove, Suite 105, Flow with Mississippi, 39232, or you can give us a call at 769 257 7586. And oh, yeah. Tell him Sonia sent you. She say, she say, she say, she say sports. She say, she say, she say, she say sports. She say, she say, she say, she say sports. She say, she say, she say, she say sports. Hey y'all, it's your girl Sonya and welcome back to She Say, She Say Sports. Today I have with me former softball player at Heinz Community College and the first African-American female sports hall of famer, my cousin, Donna Stamps. Hey Donna, how are you? Hey Sonya, I'm good, good. I'm good. That's, that's good. Well, I'm not gonna, her middle name is Elaine. We call her Elaine at home. So I'm pretty much, I may be interchangeable with her names, but more than likely, I'm just going to say Elaine. So y'all know who she is. That's her middle name, Donna Elaine Stamps. So um, how's everybody been doing? Everybody been good? The family? Everybody good. No complaints. No, what's well. What about you all? Uh, everybody's well. I saw my mom today, bought her lunch, and we hung out for a minute. I worked from home today. So okay. that was cool. Mm -hmm. So tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. I'm born and raised and been living in Edwards, Mississippi forever, my whole mm -hmm. life. I have two wonderful kids. I have a son and a daughter, and um, I'm a sports fanatic. Yes, she is. <laughs> Not just softball. No. Football. <laughs> yeah, basketball. She is definitely, I think it runs in the family because I am too, but I can't stand baseball. And that's because uh, of your granddaddy, your uncle, granddaddy Glenn. Um, so Elaine, um, you grew up in Edwards, as you mentioned, and you have four siblings, three girls, one boy. I know you guys pretty much play games all the time, correct? Correct. So, I mean, y'all was kind of like a basketball team. <laughs> that sums it up. Yeah, pretty much. So, you know, was baseball one of the games y'all played together? Yes, we used to play baseball, softball all the time. And my dad will always want to be on first base. So when you run and pass first base, the ball get there. As you pass the base, he's going to tap you with that glove. He's going to hit you. <laughs> so Horace played with y'all? Yes. Wow. We, we played all kinds of family games. But, yeah, he would play too. That's awesome. So when did you know that baseball was a – that was your real niche? When did you know that was – you really loved that game and you were good at it? I started playing when I was between 10 and 12. But when I was playing, I played with the much older females. Mm -hmm. So they were always like, okay, stand here, stand there. So they took me on their wings and they showed me the game. Mm -hmm. They patiently showed me the game. And it ended up being a passion for me. Wow. So you you graduated fifth in your class at in high school. That was, I was yes. like, okay, Lane, okay. <laughs> And you went on to do even greater things um, at Heinz Community College. You played with the Eagles from 1983 to 86, and you helped the team in a, to a 31-14 record in 84 as a member of the women's varsity slow pitch team. What is that? I've, what is a slow pitch team? You know, you have fast pitch. That's when the, the pitch are winding up and mm -hmm. the ball is coming fast. But slow pitch is more pitch than an arch. Now, when I was playing, it was rare, fast pitch. Nobody was playing fast pitch. Mm -hmm. Everybody was on slow pitch. Even regardless of the collegiate level you was playing, 
it was slow pitch. And the difference in the game to me is the speed. Mm -hmm. The ball is slow, but the game is faster. Because when you're playing fast pitch softball, your average hit could be a fly in the outfield or a grounder. But when you're playing slow pitch, the ball going to, you know, you be able to move it more. Okay. So it, yeah. you all did the slow pitch um, to really, it was for your benefit, for your team's benefit, correct? That was all they was doing was slow pitch. Oh, okay. That was all they were doing at that time. Yes. Um, okay. 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 I got you. I got you. So the following season, the Lady Eagles went 24-19 and won the state and region 23 titles by defeating Meridian Junior College 9-8. to And you were one of the three um, players who was voted All-Star, All-State, I'm sorry. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, I never knew you. I, I remember you playing softball, but I didn't know. I mean, I was a little girl, too, but I didn't realize it was to that degree. I had no clue. No. <laughs> yes, I, mean, I love it. Oh, so you was a for real baller baller. Yeah. <laughs> I know that had to be some type of game because the, the score was so close. What stands out in your mind? What do you remember about that game that was so special to you? Uh, you know, you can you can feel when you're hot. You can tell mm -hmm. when you're hot. And, and it just so happened every time I got off the bat, I was getting a hit. And I felt it. So, you know, wow. it's just like in, in – Basketball, when the guys keep saying, give it to me, give it to me, they hide every time they throw it up and go in, you hide and you can tell, you feel it. So it, Wow. Did that game go into um, more innings or did it end um, regular? Um, it regular, ended in um, regulation. Yeah. In, okay. Wow. So um, your last season, you had four RBIs and semifinal win over Mississippi Gulf Coast Junior College. Your final batting average for 95 was .320. How, I mean, the legacy that you left there, how did it feel to have those numbers and all state and helping them to championships? I mean, have titles, how did that feel for you? What does that feel like for you? Oh, it's, it's an awesome feeling, Sonia. It really is to know, knowing that you put in the hard work and it showed and it's, yeah. it's, in, it's etched in, in history now, so. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's been 35 years since you graduated from Heinz and you were the very first black um, female to be, is it just, uh, is it men, black men, Hall of Famers? It, yes, they have some men. Okay, okay. But, but you were the very first female. female. Yes, and we ain't on it. And they'll, they'll nominate you and your name will stay on there at least three years before someone had to re-nominate you. And I Got selected on my first ballot. Wow. Because <laughs> you were baller and you were stamp fool. <laughs> She's a stamp. <laughs> we, we, look, I can't play no foot, no sports. But, well, kickball, you know, and we'll get to that. Um, I remember, <laughs> just give me a minute. No, I'm going to say it now. I remember, now I'm going to come back because I want to talk about you, the Hall of Fame. So how does it feel to be a Hall of Fam Famer, Elaine. I mean, that's, you know, we you up there with AI and Tim Duncan and oh, wow. Jordan. I mean, you a Hall of Famer. Deion Sanders, I mean, you a Hall of Famer. That's what your name for the rest of your life. That's that's dope. I mean, how does it feel? Uh, I can recall when I got the phone call saying that I was selected and I was at work. And I kept looking over at the person I worked with, my coworker, and I kept saying, no, they would not be the first person I tell. I couldn't wait to get to tell my family though. I was yeah. so excited. And I just kept, it just, so, it was so unreal. Even leading up into that day of the induction ceremony, I kept saying, wow, wow, you know. This is real. You know, I was in Florida um, when you announced it on social media and so, you know, I was busy, but I said, I was like, y'all, my cousin is a Hall of Famer and they, you know, and they're not into sports. And I was like, y'all, I mean, she, she the first black. And when I said that, they was like, oh, okay. You know, that's, in, you know, cause that's right, the right. first, that's pretty dope, but they don't understand Hall of Famer a lot, you know, cause they're not really into sports, but I was just so proud of you. I'm very, very proud of you. So proud. Yeah, my, of you. my, my hometown. Wow. They, they show love. They show love. They show love. Really did. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
So Elaine, um, you went on after school, went on and played in softball league, summer softball leagues for over 20 years. And I, I re that's what I remember. I remember you going to play games and I, we would come down to Edwards. We'll go, yeah, we'll go, come to Edwards and I will see you, you know, in your softball outfit or whatever. And I hated it because of my, you know, grand, you don't probably know this, but my grandfather, well, you know, he loved baseball. I mean, he almost made, he almost went, no, he went and tried out for the Red Sox, but didn't make it. And um, he used to, they had one TV at, at their house for a while. And I had to watch sports, WGN, the Cubs, every single day from April until, you know, it was over in October. And so um, I hate baseball because of that. I know about it. I just hate it. But, you know, when I started the kickball league in 2012, I remember, <laughs> and I didn't know I was talking to a Hall of Famer at the time. I remember we took, we had, we were, it was a pitcher and my foot was on the base. And so was the, uh, it was second base, I, I think. And you was like, both of y'all feet ain't supposed to be on the base. I was like, what's she talking about? I mean, I'm just standing here. I'm trying not to get out. <laughs> so, but I was like, what? I know she plays softball, but she got, she, I mean, it's kickball lady, but I know, but people don't know. I didn't know it until we started the league. The kickball um, rules are the same as baseball rules. And I didn't know that. So that's why you knew that. Is that correct? Is that, is yeah. that right? So I never forgot that. That comes up in my memory every year on Facebook. And I'll be like, whatever. Oh, really? so, <laughs> yeah, you're so I didn't know you also was an assistant junior high school um, basketball coach. Basketball coach. It, really? uh, it was it was a uh, junior high. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how long did you do that? Oh, uh, maybe four years. You remember uh, Coach Brady? Mm-hmm. From Jackson State, yeah. Let me see the baseball coach. Oh, and it yeah. was his his brother was the head coach as I was assistant coach. I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So, um, did you play basketball in high school? A little. I, a little. I did junior high, and then I started in high school. And I, you know, just. But your heart was with base with softball. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And we, when I played in high school, that was actually. Heinz H.S. first year with a softball team. Really? Mm -hmm. So you had a lot of firsts. Wow. That's interesting. So what an extraordinary career you had, um, Lane. It's just, I had to just bring you on here because I wanted to honor you because I'm, I'm so proud. The family is proud. Like you said, your city is proud. And I mean, hopefully it'll be other black female um, softball players to to come behind you and be Hall of yes. Famers at Heinz as well. That's awesome. Yes. And I thank you so much, Sonia, for when I got the text saying that I want to do the interview, that was special. I, was really thank you. Special. I, look, when you text me um, the other day, you was like, I got laryngitis. I was like, what? <laughs> I know it. I kept saying, oh my gosh. And so, <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, let's, you know, let's just try, let's push it out a couple of days. So, um, but I'm glad you you can talk now because I know how that feels. I, I get that quite, a, not all the time, but quite a bit. But, right, <laughs> right. But thank you so much for coming on the show. But before I let you go, mm -hmm. I play a little game called You Can Get With This or You Can Get With That. And what that is, wait a minute. Yes, I'm a hard work. <laughs> okay, that, your hardware. Put, push it, I mean, put, um, lift it up a little higher. Y'all, that's that hardware, that Hall of Famer hardware right there. So proud of you. That's beautiful, Thank too. Thank you, Curtis. I like that. But before I let you go, I play a game called You Can Get With This or You Can Get With That. And what that is, it's a way for the listeners and myself to get to know the guests better. So I ask you a few questions, and you choose the one that best fits you. And no question, no answer is better than the other. I'm saying that because okay. it's some stuff on here that you love, and I know you're gonna be like, uh, but trust me, it you can choose what whichever you want, okay? Okay. I'm gonna start off easy. Would you prefer sweeping or vacuuming? A vacuuming. 
Vacuum, okay. <laughs> Me too. French fries or onion rings? French fries. <laughs> you said that, but like, what's your no, favorite? Uh, I don't do onions. <laughs> fast food, fast food French fries. Uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. Me too. Mm -hmm. They got the best. Um, do you? And I already kind of know this answer. You prefer concerts or sports events? Sporting events. Sporting events. <laughs> I prefer both. I'm a, you know, I'm music and sports. I love them both. I think the last concert I went to, Rick James came to Jackson. Sure, bye. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, that was so like the '70s. I. <laughs> Wait a minute. Big Jay's a new dish. I loved him. Oh, him and Rick, him and Prince. That's who. I mean, I wanted to see them so bad when I was a little girl. But you know how my mama is, and I mean that wasn't happening anyway. I was too young. But <laughs> oh my gosh, Rick James, that's dope. Dang, Lane, you even in no concert since then? No. I'm gonna have to change that in your life, sister. I, uh -uh. Do you like music? Yes, I do. I love it. I just I guess never it's took never the time really out to go. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Would you rather be embarrassed or be afraid? Embarrassed because mm -hmm. be embarrassed because they don't last long. <laughs> exactly. That's true. I agree. You prefer morning or nights? Nights. Night. Yeah. You you a night owl? Yes. <laughs> Do you like hot coffee or iced coffee? Hot. Hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not into this new iced coffee stuff. Me either. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't eat, I don't drink. Start, give me Folgers, something like that, and I'm good. I don't like all this new stuff. Um, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up um, actually next week. Um, right. You prefer pecan pie or sweet potato pie? Oh, pecan pie. Pecan pie? Yeah. Who do you make them or Wanda or Sharon? Who who make a vow? Need my sister Sharon. Need to make them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you prefer Thanksgiving or Christmas? Christmas. 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 Prefer, it's close. I, I mean, I I love them both, but I think I prefer Thanksgiving because. I guess that's the first time we finna eat dressing and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so ready. Um, last but not least, this is the one that's gonna tear you up. JSU Tigers or the Dallas Cowboys? Oh my gosh. You wrong. Yeah. You wrong. Uh, Remember, no answer is- Okay, I'll say the Cowboys. What? I've been, I've been a Cowboy fan since Before Jackson, yeah, Roger Starbuck. Okay, yeah. Tony yeah. Dorsett. Tony was Way my back. man. Oh, I I was a little girl. My dad was like, that's when I started watching sports with him. And he was like, get your little fast step out of here if you're gonna be um screaming. I love Tony Dorsett, and I was like, so I would have to just sit there and watch. But yeah, I loved yeah. him. So I went I went further back. I feel like that yeah. with the Cowboys than with Jackson State. That makes sense. So are y'all, I know y'all going to the game Saturday. Ticket ready. Ticket ready. I'm so ready. I am so, so excited about this game. Um, glad we clinched the East. Um, so proud of the boys. I mean, they, they're doing yes. an excellent job. It's just, you know, it's like, you know, and all the rumors and I was on the call uh, on the SWAC Media Day session call today. And Dion, you know, he was like, I've been in the hospital for a month. It's lots of people trying to get at me, but I'm finishing what I'm doing here. So, mm -hmm. you know, and validated. Yeah. And so, he, you know, and, you know, and people were like, well, he said God uh, brought him here. I believe he did, but it could be for 10 months. It can be for 10 years. We don't know. You know, right. when you tell him it's time to go, it's time to go. And I know we'll be sad, but. I, we will be fine. I mean, you saw we did find three three games without him, you know, with Coach mm -hmm. Terrell. So I think we will be okay. We just got to keep the momentum, keep the same type of energy and the same plays that they do and make the um, necessary adjustments. But I don't like, I know we're a second half team. 
you can't don't play with all corn like this Saturday. Is it? Is it? I need y'all to just play, but they, you know, come out the gate, come out the gate balling and rolling, because we, you know, and, you know, we just got to do it. And you know, if if Alcorn wins, um, wait a minute, no, if Prairie View loses this week, I think Alcorn, we may play them two week, you know, two times in a row, which would right. be this week and then on the fourth. So. Right. Uh, That'll be interesting. So we'll see. Well, Lane, it's been an honor. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I got to come down there and see y'all soon. I, you know, I'll be yes. flying. Bring your sister. Devils. Right, bring your <laughs> sister. That's all y'all want is Stephanie for jokes. <laughs> y'all, I just be sitting there. Nobody thinks I'm funny when Stephanie uh, So. <laughs> yeah, both are. But Stephanie got you though. Yeah, she got me, baby. She got me. So, um, well, guys, please follow me. At she says she says sports on Facebook. She says she says sports 23 on IG, Instagram. She says she say, I'm sorry, at she says she say 23 on Twitter. And please, please subscribe to our YouTube page. She says she says sports. Well, that's my show for today. Until next time, this is Sonia with She Says She Says Sports. Bye. <laughs>